Hi everyone, my name is Nur Afika Binti Zainal Arfan and I am from L65 EGP Block 2. In this video, I'm going to do a book review about Shed Mokhtar Al Bukhari biography book written by Premila Mohanlal. Most of you guys probably don't know who is Shed Mokhtar is, so here's a few bits about him and I hope it helps you guys get to know him a little bit better. Tan Sri Shed Mokhtar Shah bin Shed Nur Al Bukhari is a Malaysian businessman, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. He is the founder of the Al Bukhari Foundation, an international non profit charity organization that focuses on social development. Shed Mokhtar Al Bukhari was born on 12 December 1951. He is the third child of Shed Nur and Sharif Farokia. His father was a cattle trader from the Afghania region of Central Asia who came to Kedah via India and Thailand. He was a frail child, fell seriously ill when he was 7 months old. His maternal grandfather, a deeply religious man who prayed for his recovery, predicted that when he crosses this hurdle, the baby will live long and become famous. In stark contrast, the Al Bukhari home was an atap kampung house with no pipe water or electricity. Shed Mokhtar grew up in those environments, raised as a Malay with a love for Indian food and the desire to do business like a Chinese. Shed Mokhtar married in 1992 at the age of 41. His bride was 24 years old. When Shed Mokhtar was 9 years old, his mother made arrangements for him to be sent away to live with her brother Shed Omar, a British army soldier based in Johor Bahru. The move also helped ease the financial situation in the Al Bukhari household, which was steadily growing. He went to Johor in 1960. Shed Mohtar attended two different schools, which are an English based school in the morning and a Muslim religious school in the afternoon. The system of education for Malays is unique to Johor. It teaches discipline to manage time well. Throughout his stay in Johor, the young Shed Mohtar was acutely aware of his status as an Anak Tumpang or foster child and usually remain in the shadows observing things from the sidelines. It is a habit he carries with him till this day. When he came back to his family, every day after school, Shed Motar went to work with his father. From then on, Shed Motar became more and more involved in the cattle business. He earned a fair bit of money and bought his first brand new motorcycle. However, tragedy struck in the form of the dreaded foot and mouth disease. Droves of cattle were wiped out, including his father's and his business collapsed. This was the turning point. A few months away from completing Form 5, he left school because the family could not afford to pay for his examination fees. He realized then that he had to take a road not taken by many other 17-year-old teenagers. He could have joined the Navy or gone to work for someone. Instead, he preferred to do things on his own. So, while other boys his age were studying, he decided to start a business. He formed a company to operate a lorry transportation business called Sharikat Kendera and Sentosa. By the age of 30, Shed Motar became a millionaire, with several companies to his name. By 1995, Shed Motar was a shareholder in about 15 public listed companies. It was a pretty mixed portfolio ranging from garments to food, manufacturing and construction. Almost every year, Shed Mohtar Charitable Al Bukhari Foundation hosts two iftar. One is held at the Islamic Arts Museum Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur, and the other at the Complex Ilmu Sharif Farokia in Alor Sitar. In 2001, the foundation launched the Al Bukhari Tuition Program to help underachieving rural school children pass their final high school year examination. For high achievers who could not afford to pursue tertiary education, the foundation launched the Al Bukhari Scholarships Program in 2005. Today, the foundation is an international charity with a presence in almost every continent. It has partnered non government and voluntary organizations to improve living conditions among communities wrecked by the endless cycle of poverty and natural calamities. As someone who rose from the grassroots on his own merit, skilled in the cut and thrust of a fickle business world, Shed Mohtar proved that his years of experience in the field had given him the rapier sharp edge to overcome the impact of the brutal crash that floored mightier and more favored Bumiputras. He was one of few Bumiputra corporate players left standing, regarded as the saving grace of the Malay business community. 
Sheikh Mohtar's all-consuming passion is charity, one of the pillars pillar of Islam. It has been the cornerstone of his business world from the start. Commerce and charity should go hand in hand and he believes wealth has to circulate. When you make money, you have to give it away. One of my favorite quote that he had said were, My mother taught us nothing is yours until you have given it away with all your heart in the hope it will make someone's life better. Overall, I would rate this book a 9 out of 10 because reading Pramila Mohanlal's book is like watching a film that tells the story of Shed Motar's life journey that are easy to understand from his childhood, adolescence and his adventures in the business world and the corporate world until he became a famous fig- corporate figure today. That's all from me. Thank you for watching.